You know, every family has their own great Christmas traditions, and for me, it just wouldn't be Christmas without a great bit of roast pork. This year, I've kind of gone back in time to a really traditional way of doing it. It's going to be perfect. Trust me, this is a crackling great recipe. Of course, it all starts with a great bit of pork. Now, this is what you call a porchetta cut. It's got the loin with the belly still attached to it, and of course, the skin, because that's where we get the crackling. First thing we'll need to do is to grab a really sharp knife. You're going to cut some lines just parallel, about a centimetre apart, on the diagonal. At this point, you're going to set the pork aside and make a really fantastic filling. Pork and fennel seeds is about as traditional a combination as you come by. You want a generous tablespoon's worth, pop it in a mortar and give it a good pound. Next up, we need some garlic, and not a little bit. We need heaps of garlic, like 10, 15, 16 cloves, as much as you can handle. Pop it in there with a little bit of salt and give it a pound again. We're going to throw in some pine nuts and a little bit of lemon zest. You guessed it, pound it again. Well, that's great. It's got the consistency of peanut butter, which is really good because it means it'll stick inside the pork when we fill it later on. So to finish it off, we just need some herbs like rosemary and thyme. Get those chopped in and a little bit of breadcrumbs to soak up any extra juice that comes out of the pork during roasting. Really, that's all there is to it. It's about two minutes worth of work, and then we're ready to get it into the pork itself. For that, you pop it skin side down on the bench and just lay the herb mixture over the top. One thing to be aware of when you're putting this filling in is to make sure you press it down really nice and firmly. Otherwise, when you roll it up, it's all going to fall out the sides. Then, when you do roll it up, you start at the thicker loin end, make it nice and tight. Now, to hold it together, you're going to need some string. Just start with a loop tight at one end and then push the string through. Then just slip that under the pork and pull it tight. Continue all the way up the pork until the whole thing's beautifully trussed. To cook it, well, I have a special piece of equipment for you. This is called a roasting prong, and you can pick one up at your local Bunnings for about 10 bucks. And what it does is it allows us to raise the pork up out of the roasting pan, which means it's not going to burn on the bottom, and you're going to get better crackling. Give it a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and then we're going to start it in a hot barbecue. It should be about 220, 230 degrees for about 30 minutes. That is looking absolutely fantastic. You can see the crackling all forming up. Now, this stage, you've got to drop the temperature down. It should get down to about 180 degrees. But there's one extra thing we're going to do. We pop some water into the tray. When I pour it in, it means the fat that drips down is going to float on the surface, and that way it can't catch fire. It's a good idea. How good does that look? After two hours, that is absolutely perfect crackling. All it needs is one last really quick burst of high heat to really set it, and then we'll serve it up with some veggies. Hey, Ed, that pork's got my name written all over it, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I don't know. We've got a few people to feed. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, I, I, yeah, I reckon I can probably get you a little piece. Yeah. We'll tell you off a little bit. We always hide it with some veggies. That crackling looks absolutely spectacular. Listen to this, Pete. It's gold. All right, so we'll take a bit off the side. No one will eat it. Well, I, I can just have that half if you want. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. <laughs> Here you go. Listen to this. Tell me if it's any good, mate. That is gold crackling. Look at that. Oh. That's remarkable. Pretty good, huh? This is going to be one hell of a party, isn't it? I, I think I need to test the other corner just to No, 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 no. But I'm going to give you a job. Guess what? You're carving. Good. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You trust me with the knife. Yeah, indeed. Come okay, on. No, sir. <laughs>